Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Recently, we covered this Moon Dream model on our channel and there was a lot of demand around a specific video as how to do the gaze detection. If you have missed that video, please go to my channel and just search with Moon Dream and you should be able to find the recent videos around which we have done quite extensively for a local installation. Moondream is a highly efficient open source vision model that combines powerful image understanding capabilities with a remarkably small footprint. It's quite versatile and accessible, which is capable of running on a wide range of devices. It comes in two flavors, 2 billion and 0.5 billion. 2 billion is a primary model which you can and should be able to run on a good GPU, but the 0.5 billion is which you can run on any edge device including the mobile phone. There are a lot of capabilities of these Moon Dream models which we, have, uh, which we have covered on the channel but for the purpose of this what I'm going to do I'm just going to focus on the gaze detection which seems quite promising as per their model card. So we will be installing it locally and then we will see how this gaze detection works in various videos as you can see one sample on your screen. Before I move forward, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPU so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy masked compute. Let's quickly create a virtual environment with Conda. And that is done. Now we need to install some of the prerequisites. The first one which we need to install is FFM Pack, which is a free and open source software project that consists of a lot of libraries and programs for handling video, audio and other multimedia files and streams. Next up, we need to install libvips with uh, Conda. Now this libvips is an image processing library which is quite extensive. It is a horizontally threaded image processing library by the way and it covers 300 operations um, for histograms, for morphological operations, frequency filtering, coloring, resampling and a lot of other stuff. Quite an extensive one by the way and supports a lot of image formats. And then we need to install Torch and Transformers with Torch Vision and few other stuff as you can see here. Okay, next up we need to git clone the repo. And I will drop the link to it in video's description which you can also check out. That is done. And now we need to install all the prerequisites from the root, uh, root of the repo. And we just need to run this pip install requirement that is going to take a couple of minutes. And all the prerequisites are done. Next step, we need to grab our video. We need to go where we have just git clone the repo. In the repo, go to recipes case detection video input. And in the input directory, just upload any video where you want to detect the gaze. I just have uploaded one of my own video from some time back where I'll be just doing the gaze detection here to see how it works. Now the way it works is that you just run a script like this. Let me paste the script here. So this is a script which we run and the way the script works is that it processes all the videos in the input directory so you can have multiple videos. It also uh, shows the progress and then it saves the processed videos to the output directory. The processed videos um, are also saved with an extension and each frame in the output video shows colored boxes around detected faces which we will be checking out how they go. The supported formats are MP4, AVI, MOV and MKV. So let me run it and see what happens. And the first time when I'm running it, it is downloading the model which is just under 3.85 gig, uh, around 3.85 gig. And now it is pro uh, pro processing my video as you can see and ETA is just around 11 minutes. So that is interesting but that is fine. Uh, let's see what it does and the video 
uh, is not that big anyway let let's wait for it to progress it and then we will see what happens but meanwhile as the model has been loaded to the gpu let's check out what is the gpu consumption quickly so it is consuming just over 5 gig of vram which is not bad okay anyway i will just let it finish then and while it progresses it let's have a quick look at the sponsors of the video who are agent bot agent bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description okay so let's go back and wait for this to finish so it took over 12 minutes but eventually it has finished let's go to this output directory and check it out i haven't really looked at it yet by the way so i'm just going back one directory opening output and then let me open this there you go yeah it is detecting the gaze the video is 22 second longs and it takes around to over 12 minutes to get it processed just over 5 gig of vram so just need to keep that in perspective but i think gaze detection is fine you see it is just yeah that's not bad that's good can be improved slightly because when i look on this side it just keeps a pointer here it's a 2 billion model which is fine now very key to hear your thoughts on it definitely there are few other projects which we already have covered on the channel and they were equally good by the way if not better so and there is one more project which i'm going to cover very soon it looks also promising so stay tuned also if you are interested in learning more or if you don't want to install it if you just go to this moondream.ai from here you can see the comparison of both 2 billion and 0.5 billion model as you can see uh, both are apache 2 license and then both are cpu optimized too and it is also showing you how much memory does it take now uh, this says 2 gig uh, and then but we saw that it takes around over 5 gig of memory but anyway maybe it, it offloads so if i uh, if you don't want to install it by the way you just can go to this moondream.ai click on try it out and then from here you can just play it online for free even without logging in and it has uh, certain other capabilities which i already have covered in this video for ocr and visual question answering so that's it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching